Hewitt versus Mahut here in the Bull Ring Court number one, 2008 French Open, round one, day four. Conditions, sun coming out, in and out, under the clouds. And we've got the 25th seed, Leighton Hewitt, taking on the Frenchman, Nicolas Mahut. Big chance for the French. They get very good crowd support. Mahut yet to win a singles match here. Zero and six. Hewitt a quarter finalist twice in 04 and 01. We'll have the all round game to succeed in this first round encounter. And the flashiness of Mahut is the type of tennis that can win consecutive games, but also the consistency over a long period of time is the ingredients which he has not been able to bottle to push forward in his career. Ranked 43 in the world, the Frenchman, as they all are, very flashy. Better off the forehand side, likes to serve and volley. We'll probably try and adopt a little bit of that throughout the course of this match. Plays into Hewitt's hands, though, courtesy of his, his excellent returning, his ability to put the ball at your feet and then set up with the next shot. So we interesting to see the, the game plan. There's your umpire. Carlos Bernard. Interesting to see the game plan from the Frenchman. Both players being introduced as they go through their final preparation. For Hewitt, it's been a season with some mediocre losses. No big, big wins to his name. No big scalps. It's been a season of struggling form. Few injuries. Following this match, Marat Safin, former world number one, dual Grand Slam champion, taking on Jean Rene Lignard from Monaco in a, in a match which was started yesterday. Safin losing the first set 7 6. Winning the second 6 1 and trailing 2 1 on serve in the third set. Conditions will play a major factor in this match as well. Blowing around the court. Players will spend some time trying to get their, get their feel of the occasion. So the crowd's slowly Nicolas building up here. A lot of big matches around the Nicolas court. Sharapova is on the court. Philippe Chatrier. That'll be full. Fabrice Santoro, court three, the Frenchman. So the French crowd will spread themselves on day four. So Mahut to serve. Good athleticism in there. Oh, Heavy hit ball there. Hewitt going back behind his opponent. That's a good finish. Short, crisp. Oh, I have to do that well 
today. The Frenchman serve well, first ace. Try and take out away some extended points. First game, comfortably to the French Prince will be happy with that. Nerves always play a part early. Been waiting for a, a day now, just over a day to play first round match. And finally underway. For Hewitt, it's about finding some form. Some consistency in his, in his gameplay has really dropped off the main group of players on the world stage and really find it hard to put himself back up there at this stage. So it's Hewitt to serve. Hewitt, you'll see some just some consistency of the backhand side. Generally goes cross court into his safety area. The forehand will be a flatter shot. And we'll try and get some free points with his flat first serve as well. Once he finds his confidence, he'll move the ball around the court extremely well. Plagued by a for the last couple of months for Hewitt. Hasn't been able to manage it or get it under control. <laughs> That's good tennis from the hook. It's the way to play force your opponent put the Australian on the stretch take away a lot of his his influence in the match at this stage it looks like Hewitt may be going against the the breeze in this mat in this game up this end the closest one to bottom of the screen oh, that's a poor return from a hurt Good serve from Hewitt, finds the edge of the line, but from Mahut, it was about keeping that ball in play. Early stages of the match, players are a little bit nervous, still trying to find the middle of the racket, their form. And Mahut leading 15-30 there, had to, had to put the ball back in play. Poor error, 30 all. Oh, another miss. So I'd be very disappointed with that. Favourite serve for Hewitt on the first court, the wide ball. We'll go there a lot under under pressure. So he has game point. You got his first double fault.
So you can see the, the up and down, the fluctuations from Mahut. Play some good points, then can miss some easy returns and make a lot of unforced errors. So it always gives you a chance. This is why I think he has no opportunity really to, to win this match. It would be an extreme surprise. Yeah, one game all. Hewitt's had some impressive wins on this court and also some uh, sour losses. 2003, losing to Tommy Robredo after leading two sets of love and a break. the ability of Hewitt has the hands will defend has a very good extremely good slice backhand will keep the ball alive and know that errors will come off the flashy Frenchman we'll need a few of those points good serve quality serve putting your player on the stretch taking them out of their comfort zone there their power zone, therefore you get a quiet reply and an open court. The volley better be good though. Roger Rashid here with you, a former coach of Leighton Hewitt, so if I speak about Leighton with a bit of authority, uh, you'll understand why. Well, it's a good play from Hood. It's an option which should be used. Just went for too much. Didn't need to be so precise. 15.30, small door opening here. So going against a breeze for Hewitt, you can really swing out knowing that the ball will stay in the, in the court from the hook, just trying to break through with pace. That direction, two break points. No, it's a poor miss, won't be happy with that. Oh, and another bad miss. We'll be very disappointed there. Try to jump around, hit the off forehand. So two comfortable misses for the Australian. That's what he can do, Mahout. He serve well when they played in Sydney back in, two, in uh, 2008. This year, that was the product that really went off the boil and allowed Hewitt a comfortable win.
That's an important serve, that one. Ace down the middle, closest place, shortest. Shortest movement path from A to B. Great get. So a good hold for the Frenchman. He will sit for the first time, leading two games to one. Roger Rashid here with you. You're watching the Australian Leighton Hewitt taking on Nicholas Mahout, the Frenchman, the local. Crowd slowly building in here. Followed by Rafael Nadal, who's sitting at one all in the first set. He's waited two days, two full days to play his first round match. Conditions blustery, 21 degrees, could be a chance of rain. But we're live and kicking at this stage. So if you're in the camp of Mahut, you're really going to concentrate on making a lot of returns, putting the ball in play, and then trying to be flamboyant and aggressive and move the Australian around, try and make your way forward to the net. So far, too many returns in the, in the hitting zone being missed. Sort of play that he he wants to use, forcing his opponent, taking away the time. Good scrambling from Hewitt, but here's a control at the end. Now this is a tough game to play because it physically is quite demanding. You're using a lot of power movement to continually come forward. There's another miss. That served right in the hitting zone of the Frenchman. So tactically at the moment, making too many unforced errors off the return, one of the key elements in the game to actually make as many returns as you can. And here it holds. Two all.
And if you're in the hill camp, you understand that time is going to be your friend out here on this court. The longer you stay out here, more balls the opposition has to hit. More chance that he makes errors because he'll be on his limits, pushing the limits, trying to come forward. Hewitt will find his range. Relying on just a few weapons for Mahut. That's one of them to serve. That one there bouncing up nice and high. But he has a couple of weapons to his artillery. And Hewitt just as a general package. in the corridor, you've got to deal with it. Perfect. And this is what you get in return if you're prepared to come forward. ball there, slides right down the middle of the court, you either hit it and come in, take your chances, you don't have a lot of angles to work with, so you're going to get your opponent making a pass at you from a set position. Tough conditions out there, players moving the ball around the court rather well, but you've got to remember this, this will be blowy, it'll be in a circular It'll blow all around this main court. No given standard direction. So 30 all. So the missed return from Hewitt gives the Frenchman the game. And we're still on serve at 3 2. See the wind blowing extremely solidly with the flags and also the clouds just brushing across. First serve points one, they're all they're identical. That's why we're on serve. Second serve is points one, slightly in favour of the Frenchman. Hewitt against the flow of the conditions here. Trialing 2-3. Once again, the extended rallies 
that are pretty standard. As you can see, the clay just the swirling conditions on the court, just lifting off the loose surface, just lifting off the court. The extended rallies are definitely in the favour of the Australian. That forehand breaking oh, down from a hood. Going with the breeze, so the ball sometimes not tracking on your racket, moving through the air, pulling up a little bit, and then if you pull off the ball, as he did there, body weight going straight up and not staying on line with the ball, that causes a miss hit. Three game points. Lowy, isn't it? Sometimes going directly down the court, that time across the court. So you've got to be extremely patient mentally. You've got to walk out on the court for the first time with the knowledge that these are the conditions and be prepared to actually take them on board. So Hewitt holds, and we're locked away at three all. That's good use of the court. Hewitt electing to return from a long way behind the baseline, so oh, you've got to be prepared to use the forward part of the court and extend your opposition. Good disguise with the single-handed backhand. Could either slice that ball deep or just come underneath it a fraction more and drop it. That's a slap forehand, isn't it? Extreme slap forehand. Good serve, moved his opponent here out of the court. Quality return from Hewitt, made him have to hit a volley from below net height and then decided just to use the forward part of the court here again. Yeah, 
So Mahut comfortable again on serve. And he'll take a seat and he leads 4 3. It's windy, it's tough conditions, but the players are out doing what they love doing, and that's hitting tennis balls. 30 minutes gone, 4 3 in favour of the Frenchman. Hewitt, the 25th seed, ranked 28 in the world, taking on his opponent, Mahut. Currently sitting at 43 on the tour calendar. New balls. When Hewitt has new balls, he generally tries to play fast. Flat tennis gets the value of the, of the ball, so you'll see some flat serving. Not the biggest hitter in the game. See, just pulling away off that just a fraction and looks like it's clearly out there same thing with the with the wind blowing this much technically you've got to be very sound you've got to have good body control and just stay on the ball that little bit longer than you would normally do in calm conditions pay a bit of respect to the conditions out there Good return. Attack the second serve strong and fast at his opponent. And then all over the court. A small opportunity here. Let's see if he plays this ball into the court or really goes for something at 15.30. Perfect extended rally there from Hewitt. Well, Hook doing a good job. Unable to find himself moving forward in the forward half of the court. Knowing Hewitt's going to only go cross court with his backhand. Should have been able to sit on that half of the court and create something from there. So we're back at 30 all. First chance smothered by Hewitt. Yeah, that ball was 
Long. So Hewitt holds after being challenged. We're locked away at four all. First set being very pivotal for here on this court for Mahut. Feel like he needs the first set. If Hewitt gets the first set, could run away with the match. And Mahut needs to create and build scoreboard pressure. That's it. Feels like the wind now is going in favour of Mahut down the court. And it's a poor choice. And you just feel that Mahut may run out of options. And this is why he's yet to win a first round match here at the Australian Open. Understands the importance of that point. Love 15. Sitting on his forehand. And really playing playing the wrong shot. It's a double, big double. So as we head to the bottleneck of this set, you can see Mahut is challenging himself mentally to find a way to execute correctly here. Two unforced errors, one with a drop shot, followed by a double fault. And against players of the calibre of Hewitt, that's maybe all you need. And here's 15-40. So break points again. Hewitt with two. The early stages of the first set. And have back to back break points here. So north from three on break points. All three so far have not extended past a return to serve. And that's a big miss. So Hewitt breaks, he defends solidly and then breaks. And he'll come back out and serve for the first set. Leading 5 4. So you can see the winners versus unforced errors. Both players in negative positions here. Negative five to both. So you can, you can say that would be courtesy of the conditions. It's just, a, it's just a matter here for both players to stay strong mentally, compete. Take away the lines a little bit so you're not flirting with the conditions, the wind. Play a little safer. 
but keep your aggression on the ball, keep your racket head speed up. So it's Hewitt suiting for the set. One out of four break points. Mahut on two occasions been 15-30, but yet to face a break point. That sort of tennis is playing straight in the hands of the Australian. Mahut swinging away violently, but just through the main part of the court. And unless he has direction of play with his ball, it's all set for the Australian. And there's the direction. Being able to move his opponent. Canada. More he can move his opponent, better options he has. 15 all. Taking your chances. That's in the hitting zone and just leaning on the ball. Once again, 15 30. Needs to put himself into a rally situation here from a hood. Has to keep the ball in play and then take his options and his chances. Double fault, didn't need to. So break back points for the Frenchman. One side. Does he just kick the ball in here in the middle of the court? Does Hood flash away? Well, he stepped forward there. Mahut came in off the wrong side, came off, came in onto the forehand side. Always was going to have an opportunity for a pass. Was the Australian? So back at juice. So Hewitt, knowing the importance of this first set in these conditions and what it may do to Mahut. A 
that time there. The hoop once again going to the forehand side, but this time had the Australian on the full run. It's different than actually allowing him to move one step and then make a pass. Big miss. The extended rally once again going in favour of the Australian. A typical point for him and claims the first set. Six games to four. Hewitt claiming one from four. Could have gone either way. But the Australian's taken the first six games to four. So where do you go from here if you're Nicholas Mahut? He'll serve first. You'll need to come out and hold serve and go through the same scenarios. Try and find his rhythm. Have a really strong mindset of his game plan. And for Hewitt, I feel like he'll uh, open up now. He'll find a way now to get through this match in straight sets. Happen. Generally, what does happen? Roger Rashid here with you, former coach of Leighton Hewitt for five years. Decided to give that gig away in 2007. So I can give you a good indication of what you're seeing out on this court here today and where I think it might head. Thanks for joining us live on the Tennis Channel. Percentages on first serve need to be extremely high from the group. And then when he has the opportunity to change direction of the game and the ball and extend his opponent. Alt. And it was really Hewitt's ability to defend at some important times under pressure and get that extra ball back. Uh, 
That's good tennis from Hewitt. Good court coverage. Just getting that extra ball back. You just see the difference in their moods here. Hewitt will have the confidence. Mahut will start to now guess his way through this match. Once again, the extra ball back in the court. Oh, Mahut going for way too much. The options weren't there off that ball. And straight away, Hewitt has break point in the first game of the second. Now a chance, you would think, is a 75% chance here of winning this point, the Australian. Wow, he'll be extremely disappointed with that. That's his strength. So one from five off break points. And out of those five points, one ball being alive. The other four were missed returns. Excellent serve volley, execution sharp out in front. The backhand volley, the natural volley of the serve volley generally. Making the error for Hewitt, so Mahut holds after saving a break point. And he leads one love in the second. Down the line so far from Hewitt. Doesn't change play or direction too often with that side. This stage of his career, attempting to play more of a safety product off that side. And it's a poor selection again. So Mahut. Happy to hit one or two driving shots. Has decided to leave the, the net alone and the forward half of the court alone at this stage, trying to force his way in at every occasion and then losing control of what shot to play next. So the longer Nicholas Mahut is pushed across the baseline, the more chance he is of making an, a wrong option choice in relation to the ball that he receives. Yeah. He wins. So one game all. Oh, 
That's good serve. A lot of shape, a lot of control, quality flight, and an extremely safe serve. And a quality yeah. serve volley point there from the Frenchman. The 26 year old leads 2 1. This is day four. First round played over three days, but due to the conditions, we go into day four. Hewitt, 25th seed, 28 in the world, taking on Nicolas Mahout, the Frenchman. Hewitt with the first 6 4, and it's Mahout, two games to one. Both players unable to get legitimate consistency, courtesy of the conditions. By now they're well aware of what what is going on out there, what it's doing. So we're getting a, a game which is extremely disjointed, but intriguing. I'm trying to look for the player that can really contain the elements. La balle, s'il vous plaît. Marcel, s'il vous plaît, la balle. So an easy game for the Australian. Yeah, Locked away at two all. And Mahut looks like the first player that's having issues with the conditions from a visual aspect. You can see him complaining about the the wind, what it's doing to the ball. And if you're in the Mahut camp, you wouldn't be happy to see that. Well, here's a chance, I think. I feel in this game here. Hood complained about the conditions, then walked up and slapped a forehand into the to the middle of the net on the first point. Love 15.
that's surviving. Ganza. Point was in favour of the Australian. Making Mahut come up with something special from wide in the court, highest part of the net, will generally cause an unforced error. And Hewitt can sense his opportunity right here. This will be his little chance. And here it is, 15.40. Break points right now in his current climate is really poor. The Australian too many missed opportunities. Let's <laughs> break. So it's comfortable now for the Australian. Running through the, the match. He leads one set to love, 6 4 and 3 2. So here's a chance for Mahut to unforce errors, taking Hewitt's tally to 14. Oh! And there's another one from Mahut. It's a really poor mentally. And you feel like this is his prime, really, 46. It's about where he's at, top 50. Couldn't see him really pushing up into the 20s. Just courtesy of his game. You look at his game mentally, you just feel like it's very fragile. And every time he's had an opportunity, he's made a poor shot decision, mate.
That's another poor miss. So from Love 30. Hewitt now has 40 30. Game. You see the importance of that game for the Australian. So there have been chances for the Frenchman, but he's really lacked composure and the ability to make the right decisions when it's needed. So it's real loose here from Mahout now. The set just drifting away. Now 13 of play. You find you know, he's got really no answers. Well, that'll be enough for 5 2 or double brace to Hewitt. They lead a set 6 4 and 5 2. So you can see the unforced errors. Still piling up double figures for Mahid. feel like he doesn't have the commitment or the mental capacity to just be solid and strong and force his work hard for every opportunity that's given. So here it will serve. 
and have two chances to close out this second set. Let come to this. So three set points here for two sets of lovely. Really first round. Three. These conditions really perfect for a mentally strong athlete. So Hewitt always going to be the favourite in this setup. And there's two sets of love. So the Australian looks like he will cruise into the second round here of the Australian of the French Open. There's him, but the unforced service is the key. 13 to 4. So tight game from Hewitt. A lot of composure, plays with a lot of safety in these conditions. And you've got Nicholas Mahut who wasn't and he's not prepared to take on the elements that this game presents itself here today. Day four of the French Open at Roland Garros. Thanks for joining us live on the Tennis Channel, tennis.com. Roger Vashi here with you. Hope you enjoy the action from the ball ring. Court one. Merci, simple. So a long way back from the hoop. Never been back from two sets of love. He's got a one and one five set record, so only been to five sets on two occasions. Hewitt, 26 and 10 in five sets. And four times he is pulled himself back from deep in the hole in five set matches coming back from two sets to love.
Just in the hitting zone there. Barely had to move. Let's see. Well, it's been the story of the match, hasn't it? The inconsistency, the, the lack of shot selection from the Frenchman. And the ability to not deal with the occasion being the conditions. Sort of rallies that have been few and far between. His ability to extend and separate his opponent. back though to mine when you teach us to love down to decide to get back into this type of tennis
There's a game in the hold for Hewitt. So form continues. One game all. of Mahut continuing to create unforced errors. Important point there for Mahut. Really needing to play more of these types of points, I feel. At least go out and compete the way you generally try and play your game. Don't take yourself out of your mainstream. So Mahut holds, pumped up, but he trails two sets of love. And we're 2-1 in the third. Hewitt to serve, trailing 1-2, but with the two sets of love lead. This is your first round action here at the French Open, day four. And we're in the bull ring, court number one. Windy conditions. Hope you're enjoying the action on the Tennis Channel live. Roger we'll Rashid here with you. Stay tuned right throughout the day. Plenty of matches. Is it festive? Array of matches out here.
missing their opportunity, going for too much. Not prepared to hit the area of the court, move in, and finish off with the volley. Say to your opponent, pass me. On the stretch, if he has to pass without strength in his arm, you're generally going to get a volley. It's all or nothing, isn't it? Shh. Well, he won't be happy with that, Hewitt. Just a concentration fade there, going for that ball. Not really necessary to try and go for a, a serve off the second serve which is a first hit first win pot, point type Merci, The first one for the Frenchman that has had opportunities before, but that time finally being able to dictate the point. With this ball here, this one presses his opponent out the court. For the first time in the match, he has an extended break and lead. Still trailing two sets of love, but has a 3 1 lead in the third. Good change up there from the hood. At least it keeps your opponent honest on the return. Great effort from Hewitt, abling him to dip the ball down. And here, it's all advantage Australia. Hewitt backhand, always trying to force it cross court. Gives Mahut two game points and a consolidation of the break.
Go home for Tont. There's a hold for the hook, the Frenchman. Leads 4-1 in the third, but trials two sets to love. Well, a comfortable hold for Hewitt there. So, takes care of business. 4-2 still, still trailing a break. Right in the hitting slot of Hewitt. Hewitt also going for that, getting after the second serve. Watch this, barely having to move, slight movement to the right hand side, and then just hitting it straight back from where it came, keeping the same line of flight. That's the easiest option. Excellent defense. Really made his opponent in the point. So here's a, hit, here's a fantastic lesson. Look at the defense here. Continually hitting that extra ball in. And again, making another play. Saying, hey, you know what? Win it two or three times. 
Just never know what might come off the racket in this situation. Best rally of the match, really. Won by the Frenchman. Stuart LeBlanc is in full control here. Moving his player around. This is what he likes doing. We've been waiting for this. That's nice and deep. Good defence. And this was the wrong option. Look at the margins here. Very... There's no room for hitting there. S'il vous plaît. Merci. serve and volley. Serve's got to be of a high quality. It's got to find a good area of the court. This is middle of the middle of the box. Allows Hewitt to play a ball to give him a one-two punch. Merci. And the lob. The trademark of his game. Break pack point. <coughs> and a double to hand the Australian the break. And so we're back on serve here in the third. 4 3. So the players back out. 4 3 in favour of Mahut. You can see the wind still blowing the topsoil off the clay courts. So windy conditions, but we've got live action here. Day four, the French Open. Roger Rashid here with you live on the Tennis Channel. Hewitt to serve. He leads by two sets to love. It's been all Hewitt. Mahut, if you just joined us, held a break. And then just surrendered it in the previous game. Quick game here for Hewitt. Unforced errors once again off the racket of the Frenchman. And a number which you would not be happy about if you, you were the coaching staff of this young man. So, Hewitt holds, 4-all. 
It's just been a day for the Frenchman, as flamboyant and flashy as he is. Mentally, he hasn't been prepared to do the things that these, these conditions require to become safer in your approach on the court and take away the elements that are going to cause the difficulties. So here's a moment for both players from the hood. This point will either see him stay alive or end his, his opportunities, you'd feel. So here's a chance for the Australian. Slayton Hewitt with back-to-back -back -back breaks and he sits down and will come back out to serve for the set and the match. Here's the finish. You can always feel that going over the top. So Nicholas Hood attempting to stay alive here. We'll have to break the serve of the Australian Hewitt, the 25th seed, 28 in the world, 27 years of old and a dual Grand Slam champion. Lowest Grand Sam seeding since being unseated at the 2000 Australian Open. Australian Open.
So, double match point for the Australian. A match which you thought you would definitely win. For mine, straight sets was the call at the start. The straight sets is what we're going to get here. And there it is on the ace. So, a match that you'd expect. Hewitt to win, trying conditions. Nicholas Mahut offered some moments there at the start. Looked like he was in a position where he was going to play a quality match, a well thought out match, and then it all changed. The options that were presented to him were different. Decided to spend a lot more time off the back of the court. And it was then in Hewitt's control, and he's through to the second round of the French Open. Both players walk off, coming on court, following this match here. There's a match to be finished between Marat Safin from Russia and John René Lignard from Monaco. And here are the statistics. Two hours, so real comfortable time frame. Served well, did Hewitt. And all the other statistics were in favour of the Australians, you can see there. Five from ten break points, so dominating the break point opportunities and the unforced errors were the big telling factor in this match. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Roger Rashid. Stay tuned for live action on the Tennis Channel. We'll be back with more shorts.